thankfully just scooped into my face. Hello. Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a closet tour. I kind of went through this phase where I kind of got rid of a lot of things I wasn't wearing from my closet to my dresser and I'm actually happy with the way I kind of organized my closet. It's definitely a little bit different from the one from last year, but overall I'm excited. So I just wanted to show you guys how I organized it this year and maybe it will inspire some of you to. So here is the entrance to my bedroom and then you come in and you take a quick right you will see my closet. I have a pretty standard closet, if you will. It's just one of those, I don't know, most of my friends have the size of a closet. So my closet this year looks a little bit different from my closet last year. I feel like with the past, within the past year, I feel like I've accumulated some pieces of clothing that I really love, and I've also gotten rid of pieces that I know I'm not gonna wear anymore. Um, I'm just at the stage in life where I don't mind investing in a couple pieces. I don't mind like sometimes going to H&M or Forever 21 and getting one or two pieces that I know I'm going to wear a lot. Um, I used to hoard a lot of clothes, let me tell you. But with growing up, I feel like I don't want to be as wasteful as I used to be. So I try to minimize my buying when it comes to clothes. Like I'll get a couple pieces, but I'm not gonna just buy a ton because I for some reason need it to fill the closet space. I don't think I'm ever gonna be able to do that. So let's get on to the tour. So on the left I just have some binders and then I have two cloth bins. One has like travel related essentials in it. There's like a backpack and some laptop essentials, like a case. And then the one on the right, I think, has like sweatpants and some shorts that I didn't have space for in my dresser. On the right corner of my closet, I have all my bags. I don't have very many. <laughs> I never had very many to begin with. Um, I just have my recommend golfs and my Longchamp bag. I think I have a Longchamp duffel back there. So over on the left side of my closet, I have dresses and blazers. So I have some blazers up at the front. I wear my Zara blazer, this one right here, all the time. It's just long and it has some gold buttons and it just pairs well with everything. Everyone keeps calling this blazer the Michael Jackson blazer. <laughs> I got this last year and it looks really cute with like a black dress. Once you make it past all the blazers, I have dresses. I have some newer pieces just up at the front. Um, everything else that I've worn before is just back here in this section. All the dresses are somewhat coordinated by color and then they're kind of coordinated by the type they are. But I have mostly tank dresses for the most part because I feel like they're easy, they're comfortable. Then I have some printed ones here. And then all of my maxis are back in this section. And then I have this jumpsuit that's in like a safari khaki color. It's so much fun to wear. Not gonna lie. To the right side, I have all my tops. Um, everything's kind of coordinated by type. It goes from like spaghetti strap to tank, to t-shirts, to long sleeves, that kind of ordeal. So in the front, I have more of my brighter colors since they're more of like the tank kind of tops. I love wearing this top that I got from the Target collection, I think a year or two ago. As you can tell, I'm not much of a sequin person. But this is the only top you will see in my closet that has some kind of embellishment sequins on it. And it's my Forever 21 Tiger shirt. And it's awesome and really comfortable. On a day-to-day -day basis, what I like to wear is pretty much like menswear and leggings. Like I love wearing tops kind of like this H&M one where it's like a button down. I just like those tops with leggings. Right, or from the top and now we're on the bottom. So to the right corner, I have my closet made um, cubicle unit. Um, I used to have them stacked together and it was like in the middle of my closet. And then there was a time where I had placed them above my closet on that wooden shelf. Once I got the wired shelf, it wouldn't fit up there. So I placed them down here. And I feel like I like this setup now just because I have a lot of space for things. So this first cubicle is really random, but I think I just have my steamer. I have a shopping bag with shopping bags in it, because you never know. And then I have a piggy bank. Then on the second one, I have all of my high-waisted shorts. This one's brand new. I haven't worn it yet. 
On the bottom, I have my workout shoes. On this side, I have jeans. I used to have a ton of jeans for some apparent reason. I got rid of a lot of them. These are the ones I condensed to keeping and just goes from like blue to like a shiny black pair of pants. Since winter is over on the second bin, I used to have my scarves in it, but now I keep my bathing suits in it. And then these two bins, if you guys are curious, I got them at Lowe's last year and they were on like a major clearance. And I don't know if they have them anymore. And then on the way, way bottom, I have extra magazines and a shoebox probably full of crap. So down here towards the bottom of the closet underneath the blazers and dresses, I have some of my shoes. Not all of them, just the ones that I kind of wear often will be in here. And then I have maybe like two in the back that I don't really wear that often, but it's there to remind me to wear them. So I love these shoes. I actually got this as a bleated birthday gift, but they're these really pretty lace up Zara heels. They're super cute. I wear these ankle booties like there's no tomorrow. I got these from Aldo and I so want another pair because I've worn these to like the max. Like the part of the toe is starting to like peel. Then you got to have your converses. I mean, how can you not have converses in this closet? I wear them all the time. So this unit here is from Michaels. It's supposed to be like a craft container. I used it to store makeup for a little while and I really hated it, but I loved it in my closet to store a lot of things. There's supposed to be like a shelf like just right here, but I took those out so I can make room for other things. I have my Jeffrey Campbell box and there's just like a bunch of memories and photos in there. I keep socks in here. Oh my God, guys, superhero socks. And then in here, I keep a bunch of scarves. Like I have, I love this one. This one is by Mooncat and it has these really awesome tassels on it. I wear this all the time. I don't know why I'm st I stuffed it in here, but I definitely wear that one all the time. And then I just have a couple wintry ones. This one's really soft. Just a bunch of scarves that I just jam into one drawer. There's at least 12 in there, I swear. Um, down here I have two pairs of flats. I have my Sperry's and I have my Sam Edelman's, which I wear to death. <laughs> um, they're my go-to ballet flats just because they're so comfortable. In here I have another scarf. This one's like a poncho-y kind of scarf. I love the color. And then I have like some travel makeup bags under there. And then in this drawer, I just have a bunch of random things. I keep my hair products in here because I do my hair in front of the mirror in my room. So I keep them in here. I have a Tom's bag. Um, I think those are jewelry pouches back there. And then that is my entire closet tour. So that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I always like to see how people organize their closets. I watch closet tours all the time. I look at magazines and I go see how people organize their closets all the time. And even though mine isn't a walk-in, I feel like with a substantial amount of space, you can do whatever you want. So until next time, I will see you guys on the flip side. Bye!